distance between two skew lines. Let L1 and L2 be two skew lines with equations R vector is equal to A1 vector plus lambda B1 vector and R vector is equal to A2 vector plus mu B2 vector. Consider any point S on the line L1 with position vector A1 and the point T on the line L2 with position vector A2. Now, the magnitude of the shortest distance vector will be equal to that of projection of ST along the direction of the line of shortest distance. If PQ is the shortest distance vector between L1 and L2, then it should be perpendicular to both B1 and B2. Then the unit vector N vector along PQ would be unit vector N is equal to B1 vector cross B2 vector divided by modulus of B1 vector cross B2 vector. If D is the magnitude of the shortest distance vector, then vector PQ is equal to D N cap. Let theta be the angle between the vectors ST and PQ. Then PQ is equal to ST into cos theta. But the angle between two vectors is given by the formula cos theta is equal to modulus of PQ vector dot ST vector divided by modulus of PQ vector into modulus of ST vector. Substituting the corresponding values of PQ vector and ST vector, we get cos theta is equal to D into unit vector N into vector A2 minus vector A1 divided by D into modulus of ST vector. Again, substituting the value of unit vector n cap, we get cos theta is equal to modulus of b1 cross b2 vectors dot vector a2 minus vector a1 divided by st into modulus of vector b1 cross vector b2. Therefore, substituting the value of cos theta, in the shortest distance, D is equal to PQ which is equal to ST into modulus of cos theta. We get D is equal to modulus of B1 vector cross B2 vector dot A2 vector minus A1 vector. The whole thing divided by modulus of B1 vector cross B2 vector. When the lines are given in Cartesian form, then the shortest distance between them is modulus of determinant of x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1, a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2 divided by root over b1, c2 minus b2, c1 whole square plus C1 A2 minus C2 A1 whole square plus A1 B2 minus A2 B1 whole square. 